<laughs> Unusual handshake, but it worked. Hello, today is Wednesday, Wednesday evening. I'm going to walk around the neighborhood. Maybe I'll talk, maybe I won't. Um, but we'll see where this goes. So I'm leaving the apartments where we're staying. Flora House. We really like staying here while we look for um, another house possibly a one-year lease. Um, might stay here a little longer, a month or two, um, until we get our visa uh, situation squared away. But for right now, this is home. So I did a walkthrough on this on my last video. Um, I'm going to go down the street this way. It's a vegetarian restaurant here. So we've eaten here a couple of times. Food's okay. So where I'm gonna walk to is where we walk almost every morning. We grab breakfast. Um, there's a lot of fruit and cook to order meals. You can see the roads here really tight. get a little noisy with the, the traffic. Apologize about that. So a lot of mornings we walk out here with the dogs, grab breakfast. Lottery. <laughs> so the people here are definitely the friendliest people I've met anywhere. Generally, everybody smiles, waves. people walk. Bikes are definitely the way to go. You can travel around the city so much quicker. Cars, they just get stuck in traffic. <laughs> Unusual handshake, but it worked. A little crowded. I think a lot of the people like to be on, uh, on camera. So it's dinner time right now. Everybody's getting food. Eat your haircut for a hundred baht. Hundred baht's about three dollars. It's eggs, lots of eggs. It's a little general market there filled with 
just about everything you need for your house. So one of our first meals was at uh, this shop. We got some sausage. There's like a meat market. So if you want to take a look at, here's some of the menu items that are on there. Julie had the uh, ginger chicken. That was really good. She really enjoyed that. I don't even know if I see that on there. They have another menu inside. And you can see traffic is all jammed up ahead. We'll go take a look down. There's a traffic light just to the left. So it could be just waiting for traffic. And you can see the scooters just move right through that. sidewalks if you want. There's a tuk tuk. It's gonna get loud with traffic. We'll take a look down. Yeah, it's just a red light. Let's swing back around. 7 Eleven. You go to 7 Eleven a lot. Essentials. So we'll walk down this street a little bit. Hope you can hear me over the traffic noise. But so far we've enjoyed the, uh, the full week we've been here. We've been really busy, so haven't had a chance to chat with a lot of people as much as I'd like to. Here's the restaurant Julie wants to eat later. Steak and ribs and all kind of meat. You can see up ahead is the mountain. Julie and I walked to the base of that this morning. Took the dogs for a walk. So this mess of wires you see above, above my head. So they are undertaking a huge infrastructure project in this city to bury all these wires over the next few years. So eventually all this will be gone. And from what I've been told, the reason it's ugly is the communications um, 
industry here has been unregulated, so anybody can put up wires, cables, and if the uh, businesses go defunct or leave an area, they just leave the cables there. So that's why it looks so bad. So Julie and I do walk everywhere right now. We have taken a, a taxi. To have, uh, instead of Uber, we use a Grab. Or another one called Maxim. But we'll take those around. It's a longer distance. We're, we're getting our, our 10,000 steps a day in. That's for sure. It's an internet cafe here in the gaming. And we'll walk up this street. shaky roads may not be perfect here but they're definitely better than in Bloomington Illinois in some parts This is a little more quiet. So up on the left here, it looks like a uh, bunch of banana trees. The people in this country will never go hungry. There's literally food everywhere. So, quick story. Um, after the 32 hours, 36 hours, whatever it took to get here. Very little sleep, riding on the plane with the dogs. By the way, the dogs did really good on the plane, better than I expected. Uh, a little whimpering on takeoff and landing, but for the most part, as long as the cabin was dark, dogs were quiet and behaved. So when we landed, uh, first thing trying to do is get things set up in the room. Uh, Thai houses don't have a lot of electrical outlets, not like we do in the U.S. So I did check all of my um, electronics to make sure that they were rated. They run um, 220 here, 240. So I checked all my electronics. Brought a power strip so I could plug them all in. Well, the one thing I didn't realize was the power strip I had was also surge protected, but it's only up to 120 volt. So as soon as I plugged the power strip in, huge spark from the outlet, all the lights went out in the apartment. I found the circuit breakers, couldn't reset them. Turned them all off, turned them all on again. Couldn't reset it. We had to wait till the next day until the uh, contact the landlord. They had to have an electrician come out and reset it at the main for the for the building. So yeah, check your stuff. So that was our uh, introduction. Keith blows the power for the building. Thank you. 
going on. Everybody's so happy. It's a nice, quiet residential area. And I think I'm right behind our apartment complex somewhere. But this will empty out back into another street where there's more uh, food vendors and markets and little shops. It's incredible you go into these, these shops that are the postage stamp and there's everything you need in there. They might only have six of them, but they got them. If you're wondering what's down there, it's just water runoff. getting darker. Hope the GoPro holds up in the, uh, the lower light conditions. The weather has been fantastic since we've been here. Um, it gets up into the low 90s for the day. Not hot because it's dry. But you can walk during the day, barely break a sweat. Probably not going to be the same in, uh, in a couple months here. Right now we are entering what's called smoky season, which is something the government's trying to battle. And it is local farmers will burn their crops rather than till them under. It creates a lot of smoke and a lot of pollution. step here. Yep, for that reason. I'm going to cross real quick. But I love that um, just anybody can open up a shop in front of their house and sell whatever they're good at. So here is the 7-Eleven I sometimes get water from up here. And we get water and we get some supplies from that shop over there. I'm going to walk back down here. This is where our house, house our apartment is. There are stray animals all over, dogs and cats, and the locals feed them. Need to look over here. Nail shop, restaurant, little fruit market. This place sells food and dog food in the back. It's all those bags. Another restaurant, I think this one's chicken and rice. And you can walk down any one of these little streets and find little shops. It sells everything. If you want it, you can get it here. So on Monday night, in this location, I'm going to turn the camera here. So this all gets set up with tents on Monday night. And under the tents is a bunch of people selling, selling their wares. And you'll see the stripes on the road here. All this becomes parking for scooters all the way down. And it just gets jam-packed with people and music. So we went Monday, Julie got a, a new top. I think she paid $3 for it. Cute top. We're 
just about back to the, uh, the apartment, our home. Now over here on my right, I'm gonna turn the camera again. I'm trying to figure this game out. And it's not quite bocce ball. I don't know what it is. I watched it for about a good 20 minutes last night. And it looks like they have a hoop that they stand in. They'll throw a tiny ball, and then they have these big steel balls that they try and get closest to the little ball. And they can either knock their opponent's ball out of the way or just try and get closest to it. So it looks like a lot of fun. I'm, I'm sure these people will be good at bags. All right. And then back around. I don't want this video too long watching them. So if you like sushi, there's a sushi shop. You don't have the courage to buy it, but it's a uh, five to 10 baht piece. So there's right now, I think 35 baht to the dollar. But I don't see how that's refrigerated though. So I will uh, I'll go to the noodle shop. And we're at the Dodgy Monster Bar, which means I am back home at Flora House. This cat right here usually sleeps outside my door every night. Sometimes he talks, sometimes he don't. He's not a real talking cat, he just likes to meow. So, here we are back at Flora House. Here's another little guy. Hey. Yeah, hi. All right, that's uh, that's the end of the video. Uh, I'll try and make another one another day. Catch you later.